Hello everyone, welcome back to another video on the channel and another video on the Corolla. In this video, we are gonna be installing these polyurethane bushings onto the rear axle beam of this car. Now, I do have the bushings for the front lower control arm and the steering rack, however, I'm just gonna focus on the rear for today. Now, yes, I probably should be installing all of them in the same video just because, you know, for continuity. Is that the right word? Let's go with it. But I do have a feeling that the bushing install for just the rear is gonna take me a little bit more time than uh, it should just because I need to figure out how to do all of this stuff without a press because I don't have a press and I don't have a bushing tool set or anything like that. So I gotta figure out if it's even possible for me without uh, having the tools to remove it. So my plan basically, when I remove the old ones to just heat them up and hope that they become malleable that I can just push them out. So we'll see if that plan works or not. But also because if I do the back and the front, I probably won't be able to get this video out. Plus I have other work I need to do for school and stuff. So I'm gonna separate it out. Hope you guys don't mind. So that being said, I think we should just get her up in the air and kinda go from there. So, update. It has been a while since I actually filmed anything. I, I actually don't think I filmed at all of me taking out the bushing as because it was a little bit of a messy process. You can see this is supposed to be a perfect circle and it is clearly not. So, yeah. And then the bushing as well is pretty uh <laughs> it's pretty messed up so this means that i can do it without a press and that means that you can do it without a press as well but it does get a little messy this is the new setup so we got some grease and then the parts of the bushing that we need to put in so here's a diagram for it so it looks like how this is going to work is this goes on the outside, this ring goes on the inside, and then this goes on the inside. So, pretty simple setup, but this is gonna be a lot better. This multi-piece setup will be a lot nicer to work with in case I need to remove it again, which I probably will, because at some point within the next probably 10 years, I'm gonna have to remove this uh, axle beam and get a new one. but. And then I'll probably swap in these if they're still any good. But you know what? That That's in 10 years. So whatever. You know what? It's fine. We'll uh, just, yeah, we'll just work with this. And I'm going to call it for the night. And then we'll move on to the other side. And the other side I will document fully uh, because the right side mainly was just a massive experiment as to what can I do that will actually work. And so now I think I've got something in my head that uh, will definitely work. Basically, on the other side, what I'm going to do is just like I did here, cut a little slit into it. Except on that side, I'm just going to cut a slit into it right off the bat just so uh, it makes the job a lot smoother. So anyway, yeah, this side, really experimental. That's why I didn't film much of it. The other side, I will document and yeah, we'll go from there. I do just want to mention that although it looks like I'm putting everything back together, what I'm actually doing is using the bolt and the nut to sort of push the bushings together. I do actually take this bolt back out before moving on to the left side. You do need to have the axle disconnected from the chassis uh, in order to do this. 
because otherwise it doesn't flex enough for you to be able to pull the bushing out but yeah just wanted to uh put that out there right here just because it, it kind of looks like that i'm finishing up this side and then moving to the other side and that's not what i'm doing uh, i'm just pressing the bushing together with the bolt and then i'm taking it back out before moving to the left side all right let's get back into the video it is day two uh you probably don't see anything different but it is daytime now instead of it being dark and night like it was yesterday that's besides the point we're gonna get the left side of the car done here's a before of what it looks like now i already have the bolt off because i needed to take both the bolts off from here on both sides just to get this to move enough to where i can pull the bushing but anyway uh yeah let's just get to it And it is done. Well, the car is back on the ground now and the install is complete. So that is the end of the install and that is the end of the video. So I won't be driving this car in the video to test out the new stuff just because the roads are not good. And if I do take this car out, it will become uh, a big salty mess. And I don't really want to drive this car through a whole bunch of salt and stuff and get it even more rusty. Uh, that's just, I, I want to avoid that. So with that, thank you for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, go ahead, leave a like, comment below, subscribe to the channel if you're new, and I'll see you all in the next video. Goodbye.